Hi, I'm Ryan from the Philippines, and I'm a youth ministry intern at the Emmaus Youth Village. Today's gospel describes about Jesus' epic judgment, which will take place when he comes, when he returns as King of Heaven and Earth. Upon reflecting on the gospel, it makes me think of the clear distinction between who will be with God in the end. God calls those who lived virtuous, holy lives as his sheep, and those who did not live or commit themselves to goodness are the goats, them who did not or never belonged to his flock. To be, lo- to be a sheep means you have to belong in God's flock, and to be in God's flock, you have to follow his commandments or do his will. One way to start off is by observing his two greatest commandments, which is to love God and love thy neighbor without any reservations. For God knows his sheep, and his sheep knows God directly. It is also an invitation for us to live our Christian lives to the full, so that in the end, we would, be, we would belong in God's heavenly sheepfold. And now let us ask Mother Mary's intercession as we journey through Lent by starting off with the sign of the cross. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. All together. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now, and at the hour of our death. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.